Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about tactical gear designs for free-to-play players. So as you know, these are super difficult to get. So you have to be strategic while playing if you want to get a lot of them and just upgrade your gear as much as you can. So as you can see here, it's not that my gear is super good, but for a free-to-play player, I think it is very, very, very good. So not most free-to-play players get to the purple gear because it's super tough. But if you get like, strategic with this, you can get a very good amount of those and be a little bit stronger than the average. You are never going to compete one more time with the top guys, but at least you are going to be above average. So. The first tip that I can give you here, guys, is the following. Apply delayed gratification with this game. So most of you like, like seeing this number here go up, this battle power. Like I have like uh, 230 millions, yeah? And I, we get super addicted with this number. We want, we want it to go up, but let's be honest. It doesn't tell you how strong you are or how good you are in battling because it doesn't tell you anything about your stats. So if you get too carried away with these numbers, you might end up using all your resources like in terms of plasma cores, speed ups, like fragments and stuff, just as soon as you can instead of just playing smart and saving them for events like these ones, guys. So. This one is key for tactical gear design. So as you can see, it is tough to complete it. You have to get like 38,000 points and you, use, you get them via fragments, via speed ups and plasma cores. So this event usually comes after like state versus state and comes every two weeks. So what people do sometimes is that they spend all the resources in terms one more time of plasma cores, speed up fragments, in a state versus a state trying to get a good ranking i don't recommend you that especially if you are a free-to-play player what i recommend you is just to do enough and save plasma cores save chief gear save as much as you can for these type of events yes in a state versus state you also get tactical gear designs in the last uh, stage but you just need to train troops so what most people do they train troops they use chief gear and they use all the resources just to get like a good ranking which is never gonna be good compared to the top guys because they are gonna fight for that ranking and you are gonna be left behind so it is a waste of resources so in a stay in a state of that what i do is here just save plasma cores speed ups and fragments so after state versus state i can get these 22 tactical gear designs so the first thing that you have to do guys prioritize saving fragments, saving speed up, saving plasma cores. Like I saved 300 plasma cores, I used them all, but as you can see, I still have some speed ups for like later, if I need to do another event, and I use like some fragments, but as you can see here, I still have some fragments, and I also have here to upgrade my gear. So what most people do is that they will uh, they will up upgrade the, 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 the gear now too because here you can get points by uh, doing like cheap gear but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save that gear because if this event comes again then I can upgrade my gear and also get 22 tactical gear designs. So yeah, I can go here and upgrade and try to get like in the leadership board here in the in the in the top 10. But what are the rewards for the top 10? Yeah, 6,000 uh, bio caps and seven speed ups, construction, research, and training. I don't need that. I prefer to save my resources for the next event so I can get 22 more tactical gear designs and that's how I have been doing it for a long time and so far it works out pretty well so as you can see my gear is not that bad my stats are not that bad for this state especially as you can see here I'm close now to the sick hunters for the hunters and infantry um, like the rest of the stats are not good if you see here in the leadership in the in the leaderboard um, my solo power like I'm rank 113 in the wall state 
which is not bad for a free-to-play player, guys. So that's the first tip. Um, that's the main income of Tactical Gear Designs. The other one is here in the store, the daily store. You get like once every two weeks or once every month the opportunity to buy one, one Tactical Gear Design here. So I recommend you to spare some bio caps. It costs like 900 bio caps. So save some bio caps for when this appears here and you can buy it. The other source of, um, the other way to get Tactical Gear Design is here in the Reservoir store, guys. So some people, as I always say, they get super like addicted to the battle power number and they start spending like these coins on speed ups and um, budget tats and stuff. No, tactical gear designs, guys. For free to play players, you wanna spend all your reservoir coins here. Tactical gear designs because these are super rare. You can get this through Capital. I made a video all on these ones on how to get them. So there are more chances of getting this uh, through the game for free than getting this one. So all the opportunities you have to get them, get them. So buy these ones in these events uh, like Reservoir Store. Now there is another store where you can buy those and it's here in Migo Store. So as uh, you see here, I bought them all. There, there were like 100 available, so I bought all of them. If you have the opportunity to spend like Migo information on one item, it will be tactical gear designs. One more time, don't go for budgets, don't go for mercenary influence, just go for tactical gear designs with all the Migo information you get. And, and once you buy all of them, then you can move on to the next one. For example, if you wanna buy like hero gear design, it can also be a good investment because these are very rare. Yeah, you get this through the trap, but that's mostly it. And these ones, there are like multiple sources of income for these ones. But for hero gear design and for tactical gear design, they are super rare. So you have to first invest in tactical gear design and then in the hero gear design. So don't get caught up with the battle power, get caught up with making good investments and good decisions while playing if you want to keep getting stronger because because in this game guys if you don't get strong then you are just gonna get bored you are just gonna leave uh, the game and, and stop playing because nobody wants to be the weakest in a game where it is all about power and you can also get them here in the survival challenge this is a new challenge as you can see here this store is refreshing every week so you buy every week seven of these tactical gear designs. If you buy seven of these every week, you get like 22 through the events. You get one in the daily store once a month you, and you get uh, like some of them through the Migo event and plus the Reservoir Race store. Plus if they do another event like the Kamute Town and stuff, they put them there in those events and you can buy them. And of course, all the coins or all the resources they give you for those events, you're spending on first if there are available tactical gear design. If not, then you get like hero gear design because gear is a big deal here in this game. The hero, you can upgrade them slowly buying here, for example, the vouchers, uh, saving some bio caps like getting the golden fragment through events as we know but tactical gear designs that are super rough to get and of course you have to be saving for a power sprint i also recommend you to save like for the survival of the fittest and one key component for this is saving speed ups guys um, don't use all your training speed ups because mostly the stages in those events where you can use like uh, speed ups or when you get points via training troops is when you get the tactical gear designs and you also get like 16 or 15 through the survival of the fittest so you want to be saving speed ups training speed up for those events so you can get all the, the the rewards in that particular stage and you also get tactical gear design so and that's about it guys there are no more ways to get them for free aside from maybe some special events that the developers release but the rest just those things that i just pointed out um and that's it for today's videos guys i hope you enjoy and see you next time